Hello YouTube. Today I want to share with you a video encoder that I use to encode my videos. Um, it's called Microsoft Expression Encoder. Uh, this software program comes with a screen capturing software as well, which I am using right now to record this video. And during this tutorial, I'm going to be using a test video that I've captured with the new capturing software to encode with the new video encoding software. So I'm going to run Microsoft Expression Encoder. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download the pro version. Click OK. Once up, once loaded up, just go to File, Import. Well, I'm going to import a test video that I've taken earlier. Preview should appear on the screen. And I'm not going to do any editing. I'm just going to go right into encoding my video. Now it's 18.2 megabytes. When I encode, the file size is going to get a little smaller. It's around 31 seconds. The only thing I'm going to mess around with is encoding quality. I'm going to choose best and click apply. And encoding for devices. So what I'm going to do, uh, you can choose encoding for online services. Click HD and then they have the certain online services you can choose. So they have H.264 for YouTube and they show the specs there when you hover over it okay for Vimeo and Facebook as well then you have standard definition okay and you can encode for silver light so they have H.264 constant variable bitrate and etc so I already changed my encoding quality to best and the second thing I'm going to change is my encoding for devices so I'm going to choose mp4 I'm going to click the right arrow to drop down and I'm going to choose Apple TV once I hover over it I see that it has the specs I'm looking for to encode my video so I'm going to choose that click apply and as you can see it stretched my video to 1280 by 720 after that, you're done. The only thing you have to do, go down to the video tab, click the drop down arrow, <coughs> make sure your mode is on a CBR1 pass, leave everything at default, change your frame rate to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to change mine to 30, leave bit rate the same, size mode the same, video aspect ratio. We're going to use the source, the aspect ratio of the original video. And I'm going to resize this to. No, I'm just going to leave it at letterbox. Just make sure this is unchecked. Okay, so after that, everything's set up. Audio, you can leave at default. I'm going to change this to 24. I'm going to put this to 48. So I did make a few changes. So now that you have the changes that you want, just click encode. As you can see, it has a little clock here for encoding. When this dial goes all the way around to the top again, the encoding will be finished. The encoding is pretty okay, but for larger files, it takes longer. And it depends on the output of what you want your video to be. So if you want an HD, the encoding would take longer. Almost finished here. These are the minimum requirements that I'm running to have this software up and running. These are the specs I have my processor, my RAM, and my operating system, my system type. 
So everything is done in the coding. Just gonna exit out of this. And screen capturing. This is what I recorded today. It says test. And this is what I'm recording now as we speak. This isn't done. So this is the test. Test video Hello here. guys. I'm screen capturing right now with the new Microsoft Expression Encoder screen capturing software. I uh, just wanted to do a little short recording to show you guys. Okay. That's the original and this is the one I encoded. It's the test one here. And you see it went from 18 to 7 megabytes. So I'm just going to open with Meteor Player Classic and take a look. Hello guys. I'm screen capturing right now with the new Microsoft Expression Encoder screen capturing software. I uh, just wanted to do a little short recording to show you guys how it works in the media encoder program that I'm going to be showing you in an upcoming tutorial. So stick around and I'll see you there. So as you can see, it turned out pretty great. And this works well for screen capturing software because I mean, this is great. Imagine if you do a 10 to 11 minute video, which I did, and it only turned out to be around 52 megabytes, I believe. And that was before I encoded it. After I encoded it, it was around 20 and some change. So <clears throat> imagine how that is. I don't even use Cam Studio or Camtasia's um, recorder anymore. I use this screen capturing software because when I encode my file size is a lot smaller. I mean look at this. It went from 18.1 megabytes to 7.23 megabytes. So I don't know proof is in the pudding. Uh, quality didn't really change that much because the quality was good to begin with. And you can encode other videos as well which I should have showed you before I end this tutorial you can see the um, other media file types they're dealing with here that's all I'm going to show you and that's pretty much it uh, these are all the media files they support okay audio files they even support MKV files even though it doesn't show it up there. But um, if you go to it, here's darker than black. Go to all files, open up MKV, it shows up. Nothing to come in a preview window, but it's supported. And you can encode just as well as any other video. So, yeah. Okay. So. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys later on with some upcoming tutorials. Until then, comment, rate, subscribe, and take care.